I have something waiting for me over there in the Oval Office that I've got to go to. But before I go, I just want to thank you all for what you have agreed to do, serving as you are. And uh, I think we have a great chance to do something that will straighten out some problems that have been plaguing the world for a long time. And uh, I thank you again, but I commend to you your task, and let's come up with some answers that, uh, that the world will applaud. Sure. Thanks very much. Sure. Sure. Do you still feel the U.S. should deal with the PLO, or do you have a new view? I think, uh, if you permit me, let us discuss these points with the President before we say publicly in the press. You mean your mind is open on the subject? I think your point. You mean you have a, your mind is open on the subject? You haven't, uh, you have, you've been reconsidering your position? I have in my mind so many things. Okay, Mr. Swain, please. Thank you. Mr. Swain, please. Thank you. 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 Yeah. She hasn't landed yet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, yes I saw it on the television. I was on my way to going on a trip to California. California? Some things out there have to do with drugs and all that. Now with this, she's going by way of Mexico City. Um, it's done again. Lights, please. Thank you. No and maybe, and then you can have two. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I defer to you on a on an agenda here. Except first, let me just say that we've been following your efforts in the field of the economy very much, and find them most commendable. And we have a great sympathy because we have some of the same <laughs> problems going on right now here with our our Congress. But um, we're going to continue what we've been doing here to the extent of our ability and within the limits of some of our own problems. And I'm sure you know that the, our Congress has approved, uh, since we last met, our request for 500 million in supplemental assistance. We were
Just as they were introducing you, I walked in, I saw embarrassed, I snuck up. <laughs> Bullet Bill Dudley. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you, sir. Picture well, nice to see you. Everybody, but, uh, nice to see he's the president of the NFL alumni. <laughs> well, nice to see Executive you. director, Vic Maitland. How are you, sir? Paul Baltimore Colt. Well, good to Real see pleasure you. to see you. And the greatest receiver in the history of pro football, I did, sir. Hirsch, <laughs> crazy <laughs> legs. We're both between pictures, I told you. <laughs> 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 Chairman of the board of the board of directors, uh, Bill oh, Harder. Delighted to see you, sir. Well, good to see you. And you remember Ollie Matson of the Rams nice and the Bears. Hi, right. how are you? Well, nice to see you. Thank you. Looking well. And uh, Bill Dudley and Vic wanted to present a uh, NFL alumni. They represent 7,000 former NFL football players. I know, and, and I know uh, about the charity work, you especially want charity toward work. youth. And I Thank you. I'll stick out and you can explain right. Bill what you're doing. We'd like very much for you to be a, a member of the National Football League alumni. This is the presentation of the, 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 the shirt, the sweater, and inside of your membership card, together with the, the whole program here. Well, thank you very much. You are now a professional member of the National Football League. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, We're honored to have you aboard. That and $50 will get you a ticket right. to the Super Bowl. <laughs> There's your patch. You can put that on your hat or on your sleeve or uh, your jacket. But uh, we're real proud That's to have you. That's what they're doing. Well, I'm very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you for being part of it. And I thought as part well, of the... Thank you for the job uh, you're doing. Yeah. You know, this That's more important. Uh, since you're here in Washington, oh. <laughs> we deal here what you want you to have. Well, how about that? Hey, that's all right. <laughs> so now you get step. You <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hi. <laughs> now you got to put on your suit and play. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And get, out, get, get away from the microphone and put, get on the field. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a lot of fun with our youth Thank and America you. thing. You know, we've got our program going real well. And uh, what we're really excited about is that we, uh, we're putting on programs in every single city where we're raising money for, the, uh, for this program. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's really working. What we're really trying to do is the same thing they're doing in Japan. You know, they have this thing where they, they replace uh, themselves in life. They have this thing they call it some kind of a day, which I couldn't even start to pronounce. So we're trying to get the people to uh, to look up at the lifestyles of our ball players and, and show yeah, the kind of people to emulate. And uh, and it's working. We're we're really uh, making a lot of headway with it. That's great. Why Thank don't you. we gather around here for a group pick? Put the just for you. That little fellow can stay together. <laughs> get a chance to shake hands with the president, will you tell him that I think he's the greatest? Well, if you see him, <laughs> give him my regards. I will for sure. I spent the six busy, six, 60 busiest moments of my life opposite George Musso. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people did. And I was at Eureka College and he outweighed me 100 pounds. <laughs> God bless him. Could yeah. not me of Notre Dame. That was in the era when he had brought out the idea of the guard coming out of the line. Oh. So on most of the plays, I just faced him till the ball was <laughs> <laughs> And now when I saw Pat O'Brien uh, just before he passed away, you know, we were going to make the presentation to you in Tampa, and he was going to make that presentation for the old hero award. And he died just a couple of months prior to that. But he was really looking forward to that. Oh, I have to tell you something about Pat. He, uh, I called him in the hospital when he was in there, and uh, he, before I could get very far in hellos, he told me an Irish story, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and was dead that night. Oh, oh, yeah, no sign of it. The story he told me was about the fellow in Ireland that had been collecting a dole for years, and, uh, pretending that he was blind, and then uh, one day went into a 
movie theater and sat down and suddenly looked and realized that the fellow in charge of the Dole office was sitting beside him. <laughs> <laughs> so the little Tad suddenly just jumped up, held out his arms, and he says, tell me, am I in the bus to carry? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, well, I told Father Joyce we were coming, he asked me about it. Oh, well, I'll give him my best to him. Thank you. Glad Thank to see you. Glad to see you looking well. <coughs> you look great. Yeah, I, I, I just found a three-way bypass. That's how I felt. Well, you and I are together. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank says here that Mr. McQuaid will be permitted to participate in a subsequent press event through oh. the Office of Media Relations, like one of those luncheons maybe, or something like that. Do you know Congressman Mike Bellarakis in the morning? Yeah, yeah, we were together there for us one Thursday. <coughs> That's That's right. Right. So nice to see you again. Good, Good to see you. Mr. Scott McQuaid, Hi, I'm nice to see you from Clearwater, Florida, the area that you were in. And, uh, Scott, I'm sure sorry about that. Mix up and somebody wanted to stick me in oh, two some stitches. I understand this time we were going to have an interview. I understand that uh, you started out pretty much the same way I did. Uh, you were a sportscaster. And yes, I was going to bring that up. And yeah. You were doing that now. Yes, sir. Yeah. And matter of fact, I brought a picture with me of interviewing Pete Rhodes. Well, I understand you followed that pretty closely there for a while. Oh, I'm, yeah, I used to. Uh, I became a sports announcer after about five years. I brought this. Chicago Cubs and uh, Sox home games. I think that was when before teams had their own announcement. And so there'd be about seven or eight of you broadcasting the same game. And I did Big Ten football. Right, I read about that. Um, I did the pregame shows for uh, the Phillies, and uh, I announced high school football. As a matter of fact, the other night I did a game well, for high school football. But, uh, you know, I, I understand you had some problems and we couldn't get everything worked out. But I just want to explain to you exactly what we're trying to do. Um, when I was in seventh grade, I started writing letters to you, and your staff was very kind. They helped and everything, and through the help of Congressman Bill Rack, because he's been a great help, uh, I'm finally here today, and I understand we'll be invited back soon yes. to, to a briefing to talk to you, and I hope that you'll pick on me to ask you a few questions. <laughs> and uh, Wear a red sweater. <laughs> um, I just want to explain to you exactly what, our, what we're going to be doing, and when we come back for the briefing, we're going to be taping a documentary about the United States government, exactly how it works. So and I want you to make sure that Congressman here gets a prominent part. Yes, sir. We're going to follow him around Washington <laughs> and see, see what he does in the Matter of fact, it's going to be broadcast in 25 million homes well, around the nation. We have it nationally aired. Yeah, that's high school great. senior. We are yeah, very forward to talking to you, and I hope that you answer our questions. And well, be pleased to. All right. And I'm going to and well, thank you, Mr. Kerry. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you for letting me Bye bye. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care of yourself. There was some more there. It's a total of six today. Of course. I got we were supposed to have, I guess, four or six before, and now we're yeah. down to, to two. Inviting us in and uh, spending some time with us. Well, please do it. I understand. Of course, you've been down to South Africa. Yes, yeah. we have. We have, and we very much uh, support your policy of resisting the sanctions. Uh, we think, uh, for at least three reasons, it's the right policy. One, of course, is that sanctions would hurt the blacks. Yes. The second is that it would take away the American presence, which really is leading the way. American companies that apply the Sullivan principles are showing South Africans how it can be done. And third, we think that obviously there would be created a vacuum that would just invite in the communist influence that all of us want to be safe. And the one other, it would also affect all the southern states in, in South Africa. About eight to one, we have those sanctions out there. 
the, the neighboring, neighboring states. states. That's right. I got to speak to a group of uh, chief executive officers of companies, corporations that have branches down in the world. They're doing as we all know, we know such a good job for their employees. Uh -huh. And, you and uh, they, on oh, I ask them, I say, the other story is just getting so constantly on the front. I said, do what you can to tell what your companies are doing. And they're setting a good example for South African employees, yeah. which I think is a very important part that sometimes is overlooked. Yeah, you should see the housing they provide, the adult education courses they have, really do a good job. Supervisory positions and so forth. Yes, mm -hmm. they have black supervising whites in the mines there. Yeah. Well, so continue to keep the lid on Congress. We will do our part and we hope that uh, your influence will uh, keep things in the right perspective. Well, Bless you for your support and help. Thank you. We promised the South Africans we'd convey that to you and delighted that we had the chance to do it. I am too. Thank could, you. could we have an individual picture as, as well yes. as the, oh, sure. the other? We had, you had one together. Let's have one individual. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. reputation of any president we've ever heard of in the entire time. Oh. We'd like to present you a small gift from Kiwanis International because we think this might be something that you will enjoy. And there's a lady at the other end of the building has a goose. They're, they're loved ones, sir, and she has the other. <laughs> who, who? A lady on the other end of the White House. Uh, I believe you know her. Yeah. <laughs> Did she go off for Mexico? Yes, I think she did she too. Spoke to Kiwanis <laughs> in Phoenix last year. Yes. Week. And Kiwanis yeah. fell in love with her. Well. And I had the privilege of escorting her from the stage back to the press room and out to the car. So oh, that made us very pleased to see her. Well, she's, uh, uh, and she's most grateful for among all, many of the things Kiwanis is doing for her, your activity in the drug in the drug field. She's been very helpful in it. She has been very good to us, and thank you for making the tape yesterday, which we can get